All right, so things are coming along really nicely and getting quite polished, but there's a couple of problems I foresee. First off, let's imagine you've added a heads-up display to your game. However, when you enter dialogue, it's covering up the dialogue and they're not meshing together nicely. Additionally, right now while I'm talking to my NPC, if I move, I can cancel the dialogue, and if I was trying to actually select options, my player would move every time I press over to choose a different option. These are two problems that are quite easy to fix, and so in this video, we're going to look at how to disable your HUD when entering dialogue, and also how to disable player movement. Let's get started. Alright, so let's begin by deactivating our HUD when dialogue starts. To do this, you're going to have to find your HUD canvas over on your hierarchy, and we're literally just going to code it to deactivate at the start of dialogue and reactivate after. So let's head into our dialogue folder, go into scripts, and open up the advanced dialogue manager. Now once we get in here, we just need to make a reference to the HUD we would like to deactivate. So this will be a private game object, and I'll just call it HUD canvas. Next, we can head into our start method, and we'll find that reference right at the top here. So we'll just tell our script that the HUD canvas is equal to, and we'll tell it to just search the game with a game object find, and type in whatever the name is of your canvas, minus HUD canvas. We're now able to talk to this canvas, now we just want to actually turn it on and off. So to turn it on, we'll head into our update method, and this top line here is where we get a button press to start dialog. So if dialog has been started, we're ready to deactivate the HUD. We can do this pretty simply by just going HUD canvas dot set active false. I'll then copy those two lines. We're going to pop all the way down to the bottom of our script here in the turn off dialog. And at the very end, as we're turning off the dialog, we're simply going to activate the HUD. Don't forget to change set active to true. Now when we walk up to our NPC and initiate the dialogue, you'll notice our HUD disappears. And when the dialogue is all finished, our HUD returns. Looking good. The only problem is that right now while the dialogue's happening, our player can still move around and cancel it. And I want to freeze him while the dialogue is happening. Now to do that, it will look a little different depending on how you're set up. But for me, my player has two scripts specifically that control his movement, his move script and jump script. And so I'm going to want to actually just deactivate those components during dialogue and then reactivate them again afterwards. So back in our advanced dialogue manager, we're just going to make a reference to those components we want to deactivate. So I'll uh, head right below our deactivate HUD part here, and we'll call this one player freeze. So let's begin by making a reference to the movement script. Mine's called move, so I'll type that in, and I'll call it player move within the script. And then I'll also reference my jump script and call it player jump. We can then head into our start method and just tell our script how to actually find these. So I'll just put a note here that we're going to find the player move and jump scripts. Then you'll just type the um, name of your script that you're using. Then you just type what you're using to refer to the script here, in my case player move. And you'll make it equal to a game object find and then type in the name of the game object holding this script. In my case it's player willard. Then you're going to get the component and type in the name of that component. Don't forget your open and close brackets. You can then just copy paste that line and use a similar line to find any other scripts on your player you'd like to deactivate. So I'll just change this to player jump. Still looking for the player willard, but this time I want to get the component of jump. The rest of this is going to look a lot like what we did for our HUD. We can head into update and right after we deactivate the HUD, we can freeze the player. We'll just do this by grabbing our script, in my case player move, and we'll set enabled to false. We'll do the same thing for our player jump. And just a note here, you'll notice that before we were using set active and now we're using enabled. Set active is what you use anytime you want to turn a game object on or off, whereas enabled is for turning on and off components within a game object. All right, we can copy that whole block there and we'll just pop down to the bottom of our script again. And at the turn off dialog method, right after we or turn our HUD back on, we can now paste it in there and just change it so that we are actually unfreezing the player by setting these back to true. And that should do it. Now when you start the dialog, you can push jump, you can push sideways and nothing will happen. And specifically, the beauty of this is that when you get to your dialog questions, you can use the arrow keys to move around, but your player won't also be moving. You can select your option, and afterwards you have movement returned. 
All right, short and sweet today. I hope you found that one helpful. If you have, please be sure to click like or subscribe to the channel. Also, if there's any other polish features you'd like to see for our dialogue, be sure to let me know in the comments. Till next time, this is Matt with Night Run Studio. Cheers.